Hello everyone, it's Princess and Bear again. This time we're at on the top actually of the temporary Brunch resort. Brunch at the top. You heard the girl. <laughs> this is probably one of the coolest brunch experiences that we've had. Or will have. Or will have. It's, uh, it's, it's one of the more pricey brunches, but I think it's worth it. $90 a person. I thought it was 60 because that's the most that a brunch has been, or buffet for that matter, but $90. But uh, they take tables, which is good. Yes. But uh, they have a nice variety of like high quality food to choose from. Um, if there's something that you maybe don't like or don't want, I mean the chef was more than willing to come out of the table and see exactly what she wanted and make it. I ordered pancakes and I wanted some things changed because I'm like Dustin Tyler and they're more than happy to accommodate. This, oh yeah. The service that you get here at California Grill, doesn't matter Amazing. what meal it is, always seems to be absolutely fantastic. I would say that the service here is on par with Victoria and Albert's. They just take good care of you here. I think it's probably Victoria Albert's here in Sanaa. Yeah, Sanaa they also you take want really for good care of you. Yeah. Before you think about it, you, you prob they probably already are going to yeah. ask you for yeah. it. So. It was good. I would definitely come do this again. I want to do it more. Of course she does. But uh, yeah, they made her some awesome vegan things which we'll show you and then, well. Make sure to subscribe. Comment, let us know where you want us to go next and we'll see you soon. Much is true. Uh, 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 oh, and they have a live cello player inside. Much is True. Music's good. Your dress is awesome. Thank you. Is that Peter Pan? It is. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure that's something Disney, and then yeah. I saw like uh, the flying. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs>
I just come up and ask for it when I am ready to I can actually have um, anything that I said was okay on the line. Um, you just let me know and I can have it now. Well, I'm totally down to see you. Okay. And maybe it's okay. That's, that's a good yeah. Good All right. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Hmm. Wow. A lot of options. I know. So, pickled everything and... So what do you think? Passion fruit mimosa. This is like the coolest experience ever. It tastes mostly like champagne. I think you have to drink the little ball. Yeah, that's really good. So, passion for the mimosas? I got to create your own Bloody Mary and I made it spicy. I have pepper vodka. They have all these different hot sauces that you can pick from too. And then he put horseradish in there. Oh yeah. It's not too spicy, but it's like enough to make you a little warm. It looks crazy. I like Bloody Marys, but they put me to sleep. So I don't usually have these when I go out. Ooh. Complex. They said horseradish. Pepper vodka. It's good though. Very good. Bloody Mary, four out of five. I love vegan sushi. It's like my favorite thing of all time. There's like apples and stuff in it, but it's really good. Vegan sushi. I like the rice paper wrap instead of like the seaweed. It's a nice touch. Ooh. I was honestly not expecting that to be that good. Sushi, five out of five. And a lovely salad. Mm. It tastes like a truffle citrus dressing. It's really good. I love this. It's an interesting salad. In a good way. Salad, four out of five. So for the omnivore part of our brunch, I got a little bit of everything. We got crab lump, California roll, tuna sushi, shuji nigiri, an apple salad, a um, shrimp tempura roll with a rice wrap, a bacon quiche, a bacon top deviled eggs, some stuff from the tartary board, and some sweet drop peppers. They're actually sweet. Personal demon because I cannot resist good deviled eggs. 
These are fire, or lit, as the onions say. the most interesting because it says shrimp tempura but it doesn't look like tempura there's tempura just something on top like a tempura sauce apple salad Just like the point that's this, a little bit more crunchy. Let's try some of this. Mm. But they're really wide gamut of choices. I like it. I the whole thing five out of five. For sure. There's nothing on here you're gonna find that you're not gonna find something you like somewhere. Or a bunch of things around there. Bear Bruce. So, went back and got more sushi. Had salmon nigiri, tuna nigiri, more of the California roll with the lump crab, the cheddar biscuit, guava turnover, and then multi grain bread with a smoke fish spread. I don't feel about that one. That's an odd taste. Guava turnover. There's like no filling or anything. One hundred percent worth the mess. So here we have where well they are moving the train tracks. For the railway over to Space Mountain and then where they are working on building the foundation for Tron so it'll be back behind it and it looks like they're just moving the railway all the way out I can't tell if it goes around it or goes in between that and Space Mountain made vegan meatballs. I'm excited to try some new vegan meatballs. I smell the lentils. Mm. It's a little tomatoey. The meatballs are a little mushy, but Overall, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's the best meatball that I've had here on, on Disney property, but not bad. Mm. Very tomato with like an 
Indian style spice. I think it's Indian food anyway. It's good though. Great to five. So, I got blueberry pancakes. No, I love pancakes. But I've never been too fond of fruit on top of my pancakes. No syrup. That's pretty good. And syrup. Dip. Mm. I don't have any words for that. Raspberry chocolate peanut butter, peanut butter. Hmm. Raspberry chocolate peanut butter cup. Basically. Is that good? Yes. If you like raspberry. I do. That's for this. Hmm. Mint chocolate. Hot part, mint. Like a pillow mint. Chocolate with fruit. That's like a mango. Oh. I didn't eat that part. Decent, but me not being a dessert, dessert person, any score I give this one would be kind of skewed. So I'm just kind of like, why do you just with brunch? But it's good, it doesn't taste bad. It's a lot of unique flavors, I don't know if they all go together. Time to eat some flowers. No, I'm not gonna eat this flower. It was like tough. It's a lot more moist than 
The toughness lets you think. It has a weird taste to it. But I think my favorite part is this raspberry sauce. I don't know how I feel about the rest of it. I love chocolate. This is not a chocolate for me. It's almost like a half cooked brownie with raspberry sauce on top. Very spongy. The princess on this one. Two out of five. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm.